in my previous video i show you how to create a bridge page also known as landing page all right so this is it so this is uh, the part one of it in the part two section i'll show you how to create the email list the sequence and connect it to this page okay because what i did before is just a bridge page in order for you not to get banned on social media like facebook and stuff like that all right but in this section i'll show you how to run email marketing campaign and capture emails all right so that you can promote other products backdoor okay all right so this is the dashboard for this particular page so anytime i want to edit something up here i'll click edit and i'll go through it or if i want to connect something i have to scroll down and check through this uh, list and connect whatever i need to connect i'm just showing you just so you know the in and out of it but i've connected uh, my subdomain already oh yeah and that reminds me please don't forget before you do this you need to connect custom domain custom email address and verify the email inside mailing box before you can run this and i spoke about it in my previous video all right and there are links under the first video and i'll drop it here too just to help you out all right okay these informations are necessary just to help you out okay so let's try and create the list and the sequence so first we're gonna go back to the main dashboard of builder all then you're gonna go to app then you go to we have mailing boss 5.0 but you don't necessarily have to use this because it's in a beta state but i have a tutorial on it on my other channel i'll drop it in the description box if you want to use that that's fine but i will show you the, the general mailing box so that's what i'm going to use so to create a list this is what you're going to use and to create email campaign you're going to use this one at the same time you can click here and click list for the email list or you can click here and click on email sequence for the email campaigns okay and if you want to run the workflow which i don't normally use it i prefer the old fashion all right so what are we gonna call this list so all right so i'll go with this then i'll click continue we're gonna have to make some changes here so this is the name of the list with our list display name is uh build our marketing tool and this is the description the opt-in i'll go with a single opt-in and for opt-out i'll go with a single opt-out if the person want to leave they can leave and the tag names normally i don't worry about that okay so now guess what when i click next it's gonna prompt me to do something and because i chose single opt-in and single opt-out so let's see all right so if you want to go with the single opt-in there is a condition you have to follow so you need to enter the url of the lead registration which is the page that people are gonna land on all right and the reason why i'm choosing this is because with a single opt-in it's easier for you to capture email what you have to do enter the url so we're gonna go back here this is the main page okay so you go here because this one is just the editor but this is the main dashboard so you're gonna click on the app sign then you go to site all right so highlight all this right click copy and this is the main dashboard okay then so i'll come back here right click then paste this is all they want then scroll down please justify the need for single opt-in in your list so i'll say i need single opt-in due to the competitive market of this niche it's because i've used this test already but in your case you might not find this test there it's because i have typed this already so it has saved it in the system for me so you can rewrite this okay to come out with your own all right then after you click continue all right your form has been successfully saved and you're gonna receive an email but you don't have to reply okay create first name field okay so i'm gonna require that and most in most cases it's good for you to you know identify your client by first names and create last name field i don't want to i mean the rest i don't want to because you don't want people to be entering too much stuff okay if not they'll be bored with it so the email session it says is zero okay but what i'll do i'll switch that to one so because if i keep it at zero this will the email section will come before the first name i want the first name first before the email section okay so save all right so right now if i click here 
fields i have two sections see so the first name is zero then the email section is the next one okay so click save all right so i'm done with the email list moving on i'm gonna work on the email campaign so click on this and click email sequence so you're gonna click on create new then uh, email list all right so name the list build or i'll call it be the all campaign then i'll choose the list see the video all list that we just created is zero but if you want to capture these email addresses into existing list you just have to look for it but in this case i'll go with the new one that i just created okay then segments don't do anything just leave it the way it is this is a bit advanced send to future subscribers only or send to current and future subscribers so in our case we have to use send to future subscribers only because send to current and future subscribers is when you have a list already okay let's say the email list i chose it has a list already and this is a new campaign so i want them to have it so let's say in previous section i ran a campaign about affiliate marketing program and this is an email marketing campaign which is good for people on that list so i'm gonna choose this but i don't have a list like that so in this case we're gonna use send to future subscribers only because we want everything to be new okay then we click save and edit sequence all right so here you're gonna do your little you know typing all right so the first email normally i don't like keeping it first email I will say number one. Okay, I will keep it like that just to indicate first email here. Normally, I try not to include like things that will talk about business, sales, and all kinds of things. Because Google, when they see those things, they just like to send it to spam. But in this case, because we are using single opt-in, I'm not worried about that because I know for sure it's gonna go in so i can say base or in one digital two for online business let's see online actually let me keep it lower cases when you keep it lower cases it makes it look like uh, a normal email okay then i'll scroll down i'll just uh, edit so i'll highlight everything then now you have to make it like friendly so i'll say now okay so this is a call to action i'll just highlight then copy my affiliate link then click on the link right click paste then click on the check sign to save bold it all right so if you want to use a special test block test images and stuff but i will advise you not to do that because uh Google, they are very particular about emails with images and special stuff that will trigger the spam box, okay? So just scroll down, all the way down. This is something that people always forget to do. Click done. Click on play. Because if you don't click on play, it will not run. Please don't forget this. All right, so it's running. Actually, I supposed to work on the campaign schedule before I click on play, but that's okay because nobody knows about this. So I'll go back and work on that. But do this before you click on play. So I'll go back. Time value, it has to be zero. I'll choose minutes. Okay. So it has to be instant. You can change to an hour later or day or something. All right. Then click on save. So now the timer is also running. I'll create the next one. So I'll click add. I'll change this number two, but you can use whatever you want. Okay. So here I'll double click and delete. Then I'll say. All right. So this now you're going to create like a uh, curious messages and helpful messages and what this tool can do for them and stuff like that. So from the second emails going, these are some of the messages you'll be creating. I'll just edit. Once you create one, the next one will keep running. So I'll click on done. 
again come here so if i put one here that will be 24 hours later they sign up or you can do day one or day three i like to do mine like every other day or every three days i don't want like every day every day it becomes annoying two or three days after they receive it again so then you can create up to let's say seven according to statistics uh sending about seven messages you hit one cell out of it i'll click save all right so as you can tell when you see pause pause that means running and like i said you don't want to create something salesy like all kinds of weird images and things like that keep it simple all right so i'm done with mailing boss and i will close it now i'll go back here i'm gonna connect it in the previous video i show you how to direct link by creating bridge page but this time i don't want that so i'll click on here and i'll delete it okay and i'll save that's fine yeah so if you haven't watched my first tutorial yet i'll drop it you need to watch that one first okay so once you save it i'll advise you to wait for like 15 seconds so you're gonna come back here all right now i'll click republish it's republished because we don't want any interference i'll wait another 15 seconds then after i will check okay because i need to make sure it's empty like this all right let me check it if it's good now you see okay let's refresh like i told you don't rush this and make sure it's good so now it's good i'll go back i'll close it now i'll go back click on this scroll down and you click on email marketing form and all right i like this one so i'll drag it and drop it here all right so it's going to prompt you to attach the email list this is the list click on it and make sure you see the blue save if not you're gonna create new one but i like to do it the old way by default exactly how you created it is what you're gonna see so close this i'm gonna move this up a bit center okay if you want you can enlarge it click on it again then center good so now i'm gonna have to change this edit element and you're looking for headline okay the color i've worked it out already in the first uh, video so we'll keep everything the same okay close it okay click outside the box now we'll have to link it so we'll click on it one more time click on this subscriber pending and subscriber confirm so i'll click here so make sure it's on web not pages pages is if you want to let them go to a review page or introduction page or you want to talk about the product and stuff like that or to download something and stuff like that okay but in this case i want them to go straight to the sales page so click here mm -hmm. i click drop the affiliate link then click select and that is when they subscribe they're gonna go there right away and because we are using single opt-in okay if you are not using single opt-in then this will send them to a page that they need to confirm once they get to their email so when they you're going to send them to a confirm page then this will be your final sales page okay but in this case i want them to go straight that's why we have to put straight affiliate link especially when you have single opt-in and click here to do the same thing make sure it's on web page unsubscribe confirm i don't want any action if the potential client unsubscribe that's fine then click save you're gonna click on save that's fine then close we're gonna wait for 15 seconds then we're gonna go to republish the changes that we've made but before we do that i'm gonna check the mobile version this is very very important we're gonna push this up so click on it push it up all right so this is it this simple thing you need to do that's mobile optimization when you update on the mobile version it's gonna update on the tablet as well see so that's good so we'll go back here then you save it again 
So this is something that you don't have to play with. Keep saving the necessary changes that you'll be making along the way. We're gonna wait 15 seconds, then we're gonna go back here, then we will republish. All right, so after 15 seconds, I'm gonna click republish. I would advise you to wait between three to five minutes. If you go back right away to check, you're not gonna have anything on it. So let me just close this. So I'll show you. So click on the app sign, go to site. It's still not ready. So I'll wait, like I said, three to five minutes and reload. All right, it's after three minutes, let's refresh and see. Boom. So you see, so right now I'm going to try it. So first name, email address, then access. This is the sales page. See, this is my affiliate uh, link. Now I'm going to go to mailing boss to make sure it's there. Mailing boss. So go to mailing boss. So lists then click on list and boom. One subscriber. Let's check it. Subscriber is confirmed. Okay, so once it's confirmed, you know for sure the client will receive the email. So let's go back and check the email as well. So go back here. All right, so as you can tell, straight into the inbox, and this is it. So if you find value in this tutorial, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to check out other videos on this channel as well. All the best. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.